Hey guys, Mike the Cop. The question of the day is, can a police officer draw his service weapon while he's sitting in his car as someone approaches him? Could it be for anybody or only douche nozzles like this? Oh yeah? Drawing your weapon. Drawing your weapon. It is drawn, yes. On a citizen. On a citizen. yeah. Right there. On a citizen. I got you. Yeah. I will will defend my brothers. I will defend the weak. I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep. I am the sheep dog. Protecting the night. Wolf hunters unite. Bring it on. It's time to fight. So this video has been going around of an absolute idiot walking up to a border patrol car with an agent in it and demanding to know why he's there. He has a right as a citizen to know every detail of that man's job and current assignment and current investigation, current activities. Or does he? Either way, check it out. Hey, what's up, man? Is there a reason you're out here? Does there have to be a reason? Why are you holding your weapon? Why are you coming out to me? This is, this is where I live at. What are uh, you doing here? This is public. So you're holding your weapon yeah. in a U.S. Customs vehicle? In a Customs vehicle. So you what's there what's your name? What's your name, Captain? Right here. What's the name of no, your direct I'm supervisor? The station, right? Call, what's call the there. name of your direct supervisor? I'm what? I'm Esquita. I'm Esquita? Yeah. How do you spell that? A M E Z Q U I T A. You know, <laughs> if you don't mind, I got, I got, I'm, I'm working, believe it or not. Really? Well, your gun's drawn. Yes, it is drawn. You came up to me. I don't know why you're coming up to me. I see you park with their is that is that protocol? Is that SOP I'm for within, citizens? I'm within policy. Yes. Oh, really? Within policy for yes, a citizen to walk up to your vehicle, you pull out your weapon. Yeah. Because I got no idea where you came up with me for. So. You gonna shoot me, huh, motherfucker? Obviously, the border patrol agent has his weapon out as the man approaches the vehicle. You don't see him reach for it and then draw it. He has it out already, which I actually respect a lot. That means this guy's paying attention. This guy's on his game. He's watching his six and he's making sure that he's being safe. But I think it's a fair question for people to ask as they see this video without being a complete jack wagon like the guy that's recording. Why would a cop pull his gun out like that? Why would he have his gun ready when someone's walking up to his car? I don't really need to get into too many details, but I can give you some names. Officers Ramos and Lou from the NYPD. Officers Martin and Bimino out of Iowa. Officer Sawyers out of Sterling Heights, Michigan. Officer Galvez and Downey in California. Or Officer Hartnett out of Philadelphia. Of course, to those in the law enforcement community and their families, those aren't just names. They're people who were ambushed in police vehicles. Let me explain some factual information to you. Most police officers in their career will never discharge their weapon at a person. Despite that being a common misconception about police work, despite that being a very common question that you'll get out in public is, how many people have you shot? That's not a reality. The reality is that most cops will never, not only never shoot their weapon, but they'll never kill anyone in the line of duty. The exception isn't the norm. However, most officers will draw their weapon throughout their career in various situations. If you're going to clear an alarm call in an abandoned building, in an empty house, or in a house that's been broken into, you're gonna have your weapon drawn because you're going to be at the ready for whatever situation arises in a higher risk situation. Traffic stops or situations involving vehicles have been deemed to be inherently dangerous and is one of the riskier things that police officers do. And given the inherent disadvantage that a police officer would have sitting in his car versus someone who has a plot to ambush that person in a car, then having their gun out at the ready if they see someone approaching is a wise choice. What happens is that police officers are often posted in an area for monitoring traffic or monitoring a situation that might be developing or ongoing. Someone may say, hey, there's this illegal activity happening at this house. They may post up down the street and, and see what type of information develops in front of them. They may watch who's coming and who's going from something. There are a lot of reasons why a police officer might be posted in the car. They could just be doing something as simple as writing a report. They could be on their lunch break. Whatever the reason the police officer is sitting in their car, they are in a position of risk. And just as the vast majority of cops will never shoot their weapon at a person, the vast majority of the public will never shoot a weapon at an officer. But you have to be ready 
for that small amount that may wish to do you harm. The guy in our video, he gets out and he's walking actually pretty aggressively up toward this car. I would have pulled my weapon as well. You don't know what someone's intentions are. I mean, of course, yeah, granny could be walking up with a plate of cookies and asking you if you want one. Or maybe it's a bunch of kids on bikes and they're having a good day and rolling by and you say hi and they come up to your car. That's most of the interaction, but sometimes you don't know someone's intention. And listen, that's a difficult thing about police work. Imagine if you would, police work is sort of like crossing a football field size... Uh, area filled with landmines where 999 of those landmines are completely inert. They'll do nothing, but one will explode. And you're basically told you need to go from one end of the field to the other, and that's your career. <laughs> so have fun. Well, how careful should you be to make sure that you're not stepping on the one? I would suggest that you should probably be pretty careful. The same is true in police work. You're sitting in your car and 999 times when someone walks up to your car, they have no ill will or no ill intentions. But what about the one that does? Should you be ready for that? So drawing your weapon inside of a vehicle is an issue of safety and common sense. It's not an issue of, of, of a public relations perception problem. Cops aren't just walking around 7-Eleven or Wawa or whatever your convenience store is, just roaming around with their weapons drawn just in case. We're talking about a very specific situation inside of a vehicle where you're at an extreme disadvantage from someone who would want to do you harm. I'm not going to continue to beat a dead horse on this video. I just wanted to make a quick one explaining why that officer would have done that, why any officer would do that. And as for the guy who was doing the filming on that video, I hope you stub your toe later and it hurts real bad. And by all that, I mean a lot of other things that I just won't say right now.